Hi, welcome to my channel. Sebastian Fortune here. Um, I'm here to make a quick video um, about the mode button on my Can MRT Limited. Uh, it's been a little bit uh, cool here in Texas uh, this week, so I haven't had much of a chance to uh, take her out and get a good, nice um, ride uh, out there. But she's as beautiful as ever. Uh, I can't wait till the weather gets a little bit more pleasant so that um, I could take her out uh, and <laughs> enjoy her as much as I, I possibly can but anyway so I, I'm gonna go over the mode button in addition to that I will also uh, discuss some of the other uh, features and settings that are available on the uh, Canam RT limited perhaps all the Canams may um, also have those same uh, features so on behalf of the subscriber that asked me to address the mode button first of all what happens is when we first turn the ignition key on the Canam goes through a boot up process and doing uh, that boot up process I guess it does some system checks on the back end uh, make sure everything is okay and before we could move to the ignition um, events there is a, a, a warning that pops up and it indicates that before operating read the safety card. Well with every Can-Am there is a safety card that comes with the Can-Am and perhaps this is BRP um, Live from NPR News I'm Jack Spear. With perhaps the, uh, the radio show. just came on sorry about that perhaps this is BRP's way of, of covering themselves or at least letting us know that we are about to engage in a little bit, little bit of a dangerous activity and so we need to be very very cognizant of what it is we are doing on this bike and so in order to move past this warning screen um, I guess it's somewhat of an acknowledgement that we've read the the safety card that comes with the Canam we have to engage the mode button which is to the left of the parking button on the left uh, handlebar so we engage the mode button, it basically affirms that we have read, whether we have or not, it affirms that we have read the, the safety card and now we can go through the start procedure to get the motorcycle uh, started. So that's the first thing that the mode button does. Another thing that the mode button is responsible for is once we've, get, once we've gotten past the um, the acknowledgement that we've read the safety card then we could use the mode button to choose eco mode meaning fuel save mode or just regular normal mode where we burn fuel at the pace that the canam would burn it based upon your throttle wrist so so basically that's a, that's uh the the function of the mode button uh, in addition to the mode button of course there are other buttons on the the handlebar we have the the high beam switch that turns on the high beam, obviously. Then we have the left, uh, the turn signal indicator. Um, the left arrow, left side, left turn, right arrow, right turn. And of course, to disengage the indicator, we will simply push the button straight in. And then of course, there's the horn. And then the volume control, as you heard earlier, uh, my music came on and the volume control here is a very, very uh, conveniently placed so that you can engage the, um, the volume to turn up the radio and so forth. Uh, because it's a semi-automatic uh, motorcycle, um, this lever right here is used to shift up uh, through the gears. Um, there is no need to shift down. The motorcycle would automatically shift itself down as you uh, apply the brakes, but you have to shift up as you accelerate uh, from a standstill. And of course, um, the reverse button, which you hold down while engaging the downshift lever, which will put the motorcycle in and reverse in reverse so on the right side of course we have the fuel flow switch um, we have the hazard indicator I mean a hazard button that um, indicates that there is a hazardous situation that we may uh, be in and then of course the um, the uh, cruise control lever uh, or switch and then the button that engaged the engine to uh, start the, uh, the cannon. In, a, in addition to that, we also have uh, buttons available to us 
that we can use that is right here, uh, right in front of the, the rider. That controls the heated hand grips, um, also the windscreen. I choose to run it at the lowest level, but um, if the wind is, is a bit fierce, you could choose to lift it up. And this button right here will allow you to lift the windshield up to your, your specification, to your liking. Of course, it doesn't lift forever. There are um, maximum range and minimum ranges that the windshield can lift to. And then, indeed, the, um, the Canam RT Limited comes with heated seats. And for that reason, we have um, uh, control knobs here, which allow us to engage the, uh, the heat in the seat. As we as we experience our Canon um, Spider RT Limited. Now, in addition to that, there's a button here that allows us to access some of the um, features that the Canon comes with. So it allows us to engage with radio, um, Bluetooth, um, statistics. In fact, let me go ahead and show you. So. If you notice on the dashboard right now, there is a home uh, button over here. So in, to engage this home button here, we will come to the left handlebar and press straight in this knob here. And now it brings up a menu over here to us now uh, that's available to us. So we can use the same uh, button here to move up, down, left and right to access the different menu options that are available to us here. So let's go through these a little bit uh, quickly. So I'm gonna move all the way to the top. So the very first one is please connect phone. So this allow us the opportunity to be able to connect our Bluetooth, um, our, our, I'm sorry, our Android phone or iPhone to um, the Canon motorcycle. You know, of course, there's a myriad of different reasons why you would wanna connect your phone. Um, you could use the the uh, navigation system that's on the phone, you can use the phone to play music, um, different kind of reasons why you'd want to connect the phone to the can -Am. So this option gives us that um, ability to do that. Um, uh, the next option down is connect the helmet. So now the helmet that has, uh, there are a lot of helmets these days that have intercom system built in that has Bluetooth interface. And so with this option, we're able to connect our helmets to the Can-Am BRP system so that we can communicate with our passenger via that built-in intercom system through the Can-Am so that we don't have to be yelling and screaming. And with the wind and the air and the noise and stuff, we can comfortably communicate with our passenger without having to um, uh, you know, speak loud and so forth. And then here we have uh, launch, start, and trip statistics information. Here right now it shows that I have 501 miles so far on the bike, 18 hours and 12 minutes. Um, it shows uh, the average mile per gallon, uh, 26.8 at the moment. It shows the maximum um, range uh, uh, to empty at the moment based upon the, uh, the amount of fuel that I have in my bike. Uh, um, so total, I think we have 160. Um, um, maximum miles that we could drive before on a full tank but right now I think I have about uh, a little less than a half a tank and it says the maximum I can drive is a hundred miles with what is remaining in the tank I'll have to verify on the maximum range with a full tank I may be a little bit off on that but um, yeah let me uh, go through these, these uh, buttons um, uh, next we have the audio system and then when we engage the audio system, we have different configuration elements. So for one, we have um, auto presets that we can do here for your AM, FM channel. You have auto volume control that you can determine, you know, where the volume is when you initially turn the bike on. Um, uh, we also have the equalizer. The equalizer setting, you can adjust uh, Lower the base, increase the treble, lower the treble, um, whatever you know, you fancy. Then we also have all, obviously the fade and balance button. Fade to the rear, fade to the front, balance left and right. And then last but not least, we have the audio out. We could choose to have the music come out through the speakers or through uh, the helmet system that I mentioned earlier that came, 
that we can integrate our helmet into the Canon um, Spider RT Limited. And, and of course, um, we also have the FM selector for your FM radio stations. Um, in addition to that, we also have the BT uh, audio system, which we interface um, with Bluetooth. Uh, and then we have the auxiliary audio system where you can uh, connect an external source, your phone or some other device to the Canon, um, you know, for the sake of playing music and uh, things like that. So these are some of the controls that are available to us. And in addition to that, we also have the basic settings that you would use to uh, change the, the time on the clock if you need to. Um, there are the Bluetooth settings here where you can add the phone, add your rider helmet, add the passenger helmet. These are all interfaces that allow you to connect your passenger helmet, rider helmet, and your iPhone or Android phone to um, the can -Am via the Bluetooth uh, interface. And then of course um, the display we can choose to brighten the display up or you know darken the display um, and so forth and then of course the units um, imperial or metric depends on what part of the world uh, that you live in and we could get into um, customization as well um, with this 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 uh, there are so many different options that are available to us on the can -Am. language we could select the language uh, about fault codes, all kinds of things that are available to us on this Canon Spider RT Limited. So it's a very, very amazing piece of machinery, and I thought I'd just take the time to go through some of these these um, basic uh, features and and and, and uh, configurable parameters that are available to us in our Canon RT Limited. Um, so there you have it. So the video was to address the mode button. I hope I didn't um, get too far into the weeds, but again, the mode button, when you first turn on the Canon Spider RT Limited and it moves up and it goes through the, when you first turn the key to the ignition uh, setting, it goes through the booting process and then it comes to a screen where it um, warns you that it is essential for you to read the, the warning safety card. And as an acknowledgement of having read the safety card, you press the mode button to get past that warning screen. And at that point, we can now engage the throttle. I'm sorry, not the throttle, but the, uh, the, the ignition switch to turn the motorcycle on. And after you've gotten past the warning screen with the mode button, you can also use the, use the mode button again to select the different mode that you're driving the motorcycle in. Eco or normal, I think, are the only options that are available to us at the moment on the RT Limited. And in addition to that, I went over some of the other features that are available to us, uh, configurable parameters that are available to us for our comfort as we ride and experience our Can-Am RT Limited motorcycle. I love this bike. I, I, oh, okay, and just in the back for the passenger um, sit, seat, I have uh, the passenger seat is also heated, and the buttons back here are used to control the heating uh, of the passenger seat, and they all, the hand grips are also heated back here. And this is the button that, um, these are the buttons that are used to control the heated seats and the heated ha hand grips. And on the right side, there are controls over here that the passenger can use for um, the audio settings that comes through the helmet. Right, you uh, remember we talked about the interface up here where you could connect the passenger helmet and the driver helmet and so forth. These buttons allow the passenger to be able to interact with the sounds that is coming through uh, uh, the helmet. So anyway, I hope um, you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. If there's anything you want me to discuss about the Canon RT Limited, if there's anything you want me to, to explain, uh, please um, drop me a comment and I will do my best to explain um, uh, to you what's going on with this bike and my enjoyment of it. And I really appreciate you for tuning into my channel. Again, Sebastian Fortune, my journey as a source player through this virtual reality simulation and join my Canon RT. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you are so inclined to, give a donation. Thank you very much and have a wonderful rest of your day.